Hi everyone, this is Lisa from Puzzles by Lisa on Instagram and as usual I'm going to show you a part of my collection today like a sub collection within the collection and what we're going to see today is a series called Treasures from the Vault by Disney. Um, that's actually like a really nice concept. They took very old posters that they had and just turn them into puzzles. You'll see that all of them are actually very, very difficult. They're not easy, almost all of them. And they did something really cool in 2021. They basically just created one for every month and it actually comes with a stuffed animal toy as well, like that you can buy separately, not with this. Um, so basically we're going to go through January all the way to December and kind of look which puzzle did they create on every month. I did all of them, so at the end of this, not only you can see all of them uh, put together, like as usual in my video, you can also see all of them together on my floor, uh, just before I'm gonna take them apart, which is the next step that I was waiting for for a bunch of time. Uh, so I'm gonna tell you which ones are really difficult versus which ones were actually easy, uh, but most of them, as I said, are quite difficult. So this one, that's the first one from January 2021. It's called Lady. Uh, even though it says Lady and the Trump, you can see that it is really, really beautiful, but a lot of green. A lot of that is actually uh, stuff that is uh, sketches from the movie. Uh, really, really nice. It, it's not the hardest of them all, but it's definitely not an easy one too much. Um, I really like doing this one, but definitely the green parts are not always the easiest. Um, so just that you'll see, I'll take it a bit closer so hopefully you can see those beautiful animations that we have here. It's really, really cute. It's just not easy. Uh, the second one from February 2021 is probably the hardest of them all. And this was called Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse. And I would say that for me, the black part was much harder than anything else. These part is that... Actually, the around with, that says uh, Mickey, Minnie all the time is actually like helpful for the most part. Um, so if you want to do that, just know that. I did find the white stuff actually pretty good. And I might actually start at a video that helps to kind of make how to make puzzles like that not as bad as they look. Uh, they're still hard, but not that hard. Next one, which I found actually quite difficult, was Pinocchio from March 2021. Uh, the hard part for me was this part, because when you look at the pieces, they basically like can be different shades of blue, but you don't actually know where to put them because it's all over the place. So from my perspective, this was actually like not an easy one, and I would put it harder than the lady one if you'd ask me how to stack them. April 2021 brought us Bambi. Uh, Bambi actually, so you can see here the cute photos from the movie. And again, that is kind of like that. There is a lot of green. I actually found it not as bad as the other ones. Um, so I would say that from my perspective, the Bambi was the easy one of actually those four. So the April Bambi was easier than Pinocchio, easier than Minnie and Mickey, and definitely E easier than lady uh, next one is even easier this one is called the three caballeros and it is easier than the other ones actually this text may be look like you know not too bad that's not easy uh, just because again the pieces are really big so you see only like parts of the red and it's not always easy to know exactly where to put them uh, until I actually start making some progress there. Uh, but really cute puzzle, easier than the other ones so far. And then I get to Easy Land. Uh, this one, Goofy. Goofy is the June puzzle from the Treasures of the Vault. Uh, by the way, I want to show you kind of like the Treasures from the Vault um, logo that they have. I mean, you can see it also here, but it's much smaller. Um, and then Goofy just features a bunch of movies and kind of like posters from Goofy. Um, so, of course, much easier. You can imagine just a couple of hours and it's pretty much done. From here we go to July. July 
is Chip and Dale. Um, Chip and Dale were, again, it's not a tough puzzle that much. It was between the easy ones. But again, those texts are actually not as easy as they look. And there is a lot of yellow and green in this puzzle. But it was fun. And it's done. Next one, not too difficult, is Baloo. That one is from August 2021. Um, there is a lot of green here, but it wasn't actually too bad in my perspective. Um, there is shades of green, but again, they are like going like in reasonable places. There is a lot of stuff that you can find where to put. This one is easy. Baloo is easy, of course. So overall, a kind of like medium. And then another easy fun one is September. That's Pluto. Pluto was fun. Very similar to Goofy, by the way. Maybe a bit too similar to Goofy, but actually well, was fun. And then comes the October one. This is Winnie the Pooh. Uh, Winnie the Pooh, I mean, I think that this is a very classic photo of Winnie the Pooh. It wasn't too bad. It was like a gradient puzzle because... All of that stuff is going kind of like from gray to green. All of that stuff is going from yellow. So it felt like almost doing a gradient, like a light gradient puzzle. But it wasn't like really bad. Like to say the truth, again, I would put it like there are much harder puzzles in this series. Going to a tough one. November Robin Hood. Robin Hood was not easy. Uh, especially, I never look at box. So for me, it's like it was even harder. But just to figure out like which tailors going where and you know all the green stuff and then there was a lot of white stuff around it as I said like there are tricks to actually make it not as bad like that if you know how to actually like do uh when you have a lot of one color and like you're kind of like not sure what to do there is some tricks to make it easier um I might might make a video on that and then the last one that was really tough that is Mickey Mouse and actually like the full name of this thing is really long it's like the Mickey Mouse review attraction poster from 1971 Magic Kingdom part Walt Disney World Resort um, so basically like you can see that this was I mean Mickey looks a bit weird but that was the poster a poster in 1971 so I guess basically like that's uh, what it says I will let you see here that it says Disney Treasures from the Vault is a unique collection uh, that celebrates some of the most beloved Disney characters. So, so that's basically like what it does. And they did that from the Walt Disney Archive team. Um, so that's really, really nice. It's like vintage Disney artwork. Look at that again. Not easy. It was too difficult. Anyway, now I'm going to close the camera and take you to the other room to see all of them on the floor. And then you can see each one of them one by one. Uh, actually, like at the end of the video as well. And then I'm going to take them apart and they're going to go back into their boxes. So, yeah. Uh, there is another million Disney puzzles. These are the probably harder one among them. If you want easier one, colorful one, probably not the best choice here. Um, yeah, so I'll see you soon. Okay, so I promised you I'm going to show you the puzzles, and they're all together here. Uh, we'll look at them in a moment, but actually the best way to take any good photo of puzzles is just straight from above. So you can see that for 1,000-piece puzzles, it's actually not that hard to do because we can just stand above them and then make that happen. So it's January, February, March, and April. Going back. Here we have the May, three Cavaleros, and Goofy. And then we have Chip and Dale, and then we have Baloo, and going back, and then we have Pluto, and then we have 
Winnie the Pooh. And now we have Robin Hood. And the last one is Mickey. Now, one of the main things I can tell you, the problem is when one thing I'm using, and you can see that here is the foam boards. Like each puzzle here is on a foam board. So hopefully you can see it's easy to actually like move them around, keep them intact uh, and stuff. But also I think that the nice background that's white is additional foam boards actually here. Um, and that it would be not the same if you use, let's say, the floor, it wouldn't be looking as nice. So I really like the foam boards for that. Um, the other thing that I said is you want to be able to take actually like photo from above as much as possible. So if you need to take a photo of a large thing, here's my six foot ladder. We're going to use it to actually try to see how much better it looks uh, if I don't block it. So you can see here that if you use a ladder and maybe also a selfie stick, you can actually get the best image that you could hope for. So let's say goodbye to the puzzles because they're gonna all be taken apart later today. Goodbye puzzles, goodbye to you. That's it.